Ah, thank you, Fatima. I think we should tell the kids now. Chalo, bolte. Sakina, Aziz, come here. Aisha, you too. Kids, we have to tell you something. We are going on a journey. <laughs> to Disneyland? India? To Pakistan? We live in Pakistan. What? What? We live in Pakistan, but besides that, we are going on Hajj. What, what is, is Hajj? Hajj? We go there at least once, and we go there to visit the house of Allah, and it's also one of the five pillars of Islam. It's, what are the five pillars of Islam? Zakat, Ramadan, Shahada, and Salat. And the last one? Um, uh, Sakina knows it. Yeah, you do. Stop lying. This one is Hajj. Oh, yeah. Sister and I will be teaching you the steps and process of getting ready for Hajj. Okay, all in! Keep going, sunshine! Boarding passes. I need y'all's boarding passes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hurry in. Plane's about to take off. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Men and women must enter Iram. Iram is a sacred state where one must carry out the required ritual to complete the Hajj. During this, they must wear special clothing that is designed for the purpose of performing Hajj. A man's Iram is two sheets of white cloth. A woman's Iram is dress completely covers her, leaving her hands and face revealed. Wudu is required before entering Iram. Okay kids, I know it's been a long flight, but I need to explain the process of Ihram before our experience begins tomorrow. First, we need to clean ourselves, which is Wadu. Okay kids, I'm going to teach you how to do Wadu, one of the necessary parts of Ihram. The first step of Wadu is to make an intention. Next, you say Bismillah. The third step is to wash your hands. Wash your right hand first, then your left, and be sure to include your wrist and between your fingers. The fourth step is to rinse your mouth. Put water in with your right hand, swirl it in your mouth, then spit it out. Do this three times. The fifth step is to rinse your nose. Sniff water into your nose with your right hand and blow it out with your left. Do this three times. The sixth step is to wash your face from your forehead to chin, from your right ear to your left ear. If you have a beard, run your wet fingers through your beard. The seventh step is to wash your arms from your fingers to your elbows. Do your right arm three times, then wash your left arm three times. The eighth step is to wipe your head from your fringe to your back in one move. The ninth step is to wipe your ears inside then the back. The tenth step is to wash your feet, including your ankle in between your toes. Start with your right foot and wash it three times. Then do your left foot and wash it three times. The eleventh step is you should read a dua. Second, put on your ihram garment. The second part of ihram is to wear your ihram garments. Women must cover everything except their face and hands. For men ihram garments, you need two white sheets. The first one you put, you wrap it around your waist.
For the second sheet, you wrap it around your body and you cover your left shoulder and your right one exposed for the process of the waf and hajj. Third, you need to make an intention of hajj. Fourth, recite the wa, which is Thalviya. Kids, repeat after me. Labeka Allahumma labek. Labeka Allahumma labek. Labeka la sharika laka labek. Labeka la sharika laka labek. In alhamda, in alhamda, wa nitmata, wa nitmata, laka wal mulk, laka wal mulk. La sharika lak, la sharika lak. The fifth part is to avoid forbidden acts of ihram, such as looking to the mirror, wearing perfume, wearing makeup, and cursing others. Wait, we can't look in the mirror? No, because they're forbidden. The process of Umrah, you make the Tawaf around the Kaaba seven times counterclockwise. The first three rounds are performed quickly, which is called Ramal. The last four rounds are slow, which is called Idaba. You begin on the round line, marble line and say, In the name of Allah, Allah is the greatest, O Allah, having faith in confirming the truthness of your holy book, fulfilling your promise and following the sunnah of your prophet, peace be upon him. The pilgrims touch the black stone and kiss it if possible. If it's too difficult to kiss it, he touches it with his right hand and kisses his hand. If that is impossible, he stands facing the black stone and pointing to it with his hand and saying, Bismillah ar-Rahim, Allahu Akbar, and then starts the Tawaf around the Gaba. The purpose behind Sai is to remember the story of the mother of Ismail. When Abraham, peace be upon him, left her, may Allah be pleased with her and her son in this place. And he left a skin of water and a bag of dates with her. The mother began to eat the dates and drink the water. And she breastfed her son. Then the water ran, and dates ran out. So she became hungry and thirsty and her milk dried up. The infant became hungry and began to cry with hunger. She found herself in a difficult position. She saw the nearest mountain to her was As Safa. So she went to As Safa and began to listen out in hope that she would hear someone, but she heard no one. So she came and headed the other way towards Al Marva. When she came down to the bottom of the sea of the valley, she could no longer see her son, so she started running fast until she climbed up so that she could see her son. She climbed up to listen out from Al Marva, but she did not hear anything. She continued like this until she had done this seven times. Then she heard a sound, but she did not know what it was. Then she saw the angel, Jabrail, and had come down by Allah's command and struck the ground with his wing or his foot in the place of Zamzam is now. There was so much water, she tried to contain it with stones, but there was too much, so she screamed Zamzam, Zamzam which means stop, stop, which is where the name comes from. You can get Zamzam Pani from Hajj today as the water still comes from the ground.
quiet, kids. Your sister and dad are sleeping. I hope you noticed during the time of Hajj, all Muslims from all around the world have gathered at the same time to perform Hajj. At the same time, they come to know each other and the differences between them are disregarded. Like their gender, skin, color, and language? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Because Hajj that is performed properly has a great reward. The Prophet wasallam, said properly performed Hajj will receive no reward other than paradise. Does doing Hajj show our love for Allah? Yes, it does. When Muslims perform Hajj, it is the best way to show obedience and love for Allah. It even purifies the pilgrims from their sins. Even the time we broke a good play? Yeah, you got really mad. Yes, even that time. I hope you kids had an amazing journey and learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. When, when can, can we, we go, go again? again? <laughs> Soon, inshallah.